Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's get into the Word of God. Continuing our series in uh, Psalms chapter number 51. This time we're going to look at verse number 11. The Bible says, Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. This is such a, a touching, very special verse here. Um, that uh, David, by inspiration of the Holy Ghost, has, uh, has written down for us to read. Um, in verse 11, you know, so up to this point, you know, David was, has been asking for forgiveness. He, he talked about all kinds of stuff with the Lord's salvation, being cleansed and uh, getting wisdom from God. And uh, his, you know, of course, his repentance because of the horrible thing that he did. Um, and now we come to verse 11. And uh, he's saying, well, let's, let's, let's reiterate here again, just to recap, cha- Psalms 51 something uh, is, is a chapter in Psalms that David wrote uh, after he sinned with Bathsheba and uh, murdered her husband Uriah and was called out by the prophet Nathan. And he eventually uh, you know, repented. He humbled himself and repented before God and, and got his heart right with God. And then he wrote Psalm 51. And so many of the verses we've already read, you know, was basically his, his repentance and, uh, you know, begging God for forgiveness. And now verse 11, he says, cast me not away from thy presence. David is saying, I just, you know, in addition to your forgiveness, in addition to, um, you know, just getting my heart right with you, God, I want to be close to you. He said, don't, don't cast me from your presence. I, I just want to know that you're there. And I am very, very blessed to have, um, to have four children who, who act like that with, with both myself and my wife. Um, all of my children just, they love to be around us, you know, um, and I'm so thankful. Even my two teenagers, uh, you know, love to just, to just be around us. And um, that's, that's something that's, that's just so special to me. Um, and it means a lot to me, you know, when, when they, uh, especially at their age as teenagers, you know, when, when so many other teenagers in America would rather be with their friends, would rather go do this, do that. Uh, you know, my, my kids, they, they just like, if I'm home, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm not working anywhere in any meetings or anything. And I'm home they would literally just hover around me and just start talking to me, talking my ear off and wanting to tell me things and share stories with me and ask me questions. And, um, you know, and just, just like, like, uh, you know, like a planet around, uh, around the sun, you know, like just, just, just rotating around me, hovering around me, you know? And, and, uh, and I can tell they just, they just want to be around me because even my little ones are like that. They'll just follow me around and They'll raise up their hands and just, you know, want me to hold them all the time, you know, and uh, even my five-year-old who's perfectly capable of walking, uh, you know, and, and, and my one-year-old who can also walk at this point in her life, you know, uh, they just, they, they love being held by me and, and, and being near me uh, and, and also my wife. And that's a very special thing. And sometimes when I have to go somewhere and I can't be with them and they're expecting me to be with them, uh, sometimes it results in tears. <laughs> you know that that's that's how important it is to them. You know that that we're together. And let me tell you, the Lord finds the same value in our desire to be with Him, to be near Him. And we should all reflect upon ourselves and really ask ourselves: Do we desire? to be with God. You know, David's nickname is the man after God's own heart. And truly, we can see from verse 11 that we just read, cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. We see that David is, is why he is given that name. He just wants to be with God all the time. He doesn't want the presence of God to leave. What about us? Do we desire the presence of God? Or do we just desire the things that God can give us? Do we just want him to answer our prayers 
and then go away. You know, as, as Christians, do we truly love the Lord as he has loved us? Do we seek his presence? I think that warrants some self-reflection upon all of us, especially myself. You know, every day I ask myself, uh, you know, do I truly seek the Lord? Or do I just look at him as a genie and, oh man, I hope I don't, I hope I'm not guilty of that. After all that God has done for me, I mean, I, I want to show him the same kind of love that he has shown to me. And so I encourage you every day, seek the Lord. Not, not things, but the Lord. Seek the Lord, his presence. Ask him to be near you without asking for anything else and see what that does to your relationship with God. Thank you so much for joining me today. God bless you. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.